video at to your Astro Dice reading for December. Hope you friends are doing great out there. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on. It's almost Christmas time, holiday season. Okay. Best message coming out. And for those of you who are new, welcome, welcome. This is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month using only one of the 12 houses. So let's see. Best house coming out. Plus, what is going on with our beautiful Leos? Going straight into the sixth house. Ooh, with some Saturn energy. Ooh, with some Aries energy. Wow, okay, okay. Very interesting energy going on over here for you. Let's see. The part of you accepts a challenge to gain some wisdom. Going on. Something mysterious <laughs> coming your way. <laughs> okay, with some areas. The energy around you is dynamic and spontaneous. Crusading impulsive action is likely. So whatever this is that's coming at you, it's almost like kind of like a mystery, right? Saturn loves these like kind of mysterious things, right? And it's saying, okay, this is what I want you to do. This is, you know that it's going to make you want to jump. It makes you want to impulsively go towards this. You want to know, you want to find out, you want to get the gist of it. Who are you? What are, you know, what is this? Going straight into the sixth house. Sixth house is the work, health, and duty of your life. Okay, so I'm loving this. So this is your job, responsibilities, work habits, and relationships, and health. So you could have some kind of new relationship coming in that you're kind of like, who are you? I don't know why, but I keep getting that. <laughs> I keep getting that in my head. Who are you? You know? Why are you talking to me? You know? Why do I keep bumping into you? It could be a soulmate connection. Okay, let's see what's going on. Talk about those habits and daily work. Right? The sixth house is also about those habits to make your, you know, commitments more stable, more worthwhile. Something is going on, getting straight into the beginning of the month, middle of the month, end of the month. But no matter what it is, I love this Aries here because it also thinks, makes me think of curiosity in its own way as well. Especially when we're talking about you, Leo, because you're a very curious, you know, you are the curious cat. So definitely having that impulsiveness is like going to make you want to jump curiously. Right now you have the impulsion to go towards it. Wow, that's going to set you on fire. You want to know, right? So in the very beginning of the month, you do have the sun coming out, your own energy coming out in the light, feeling like a rock star, being a rock star, right? This is that rock star energy. I am awesome. Being in the limelight, that's exactly where you need to be in the limelight. You, you know, very powerful energy for you. A lot of joy, a lot of excitement coming through. Okay. Clarify on the Aries, please. Oh, fulfillment of wishes. After a major obstacle and challenge. After a major obstacle and challenge, but I do feel like this is still an obstacle and challenge. This is kind of crazy because it does feel like you feel like this, you know, like you're limelighting, you're doing awesome after some kind of obstacle has happened. You feel like, you know what, I have this success after this one obstacle, but now I feel like there's the challenge. Here comes the challenge. Here comes the Saturn. The Saturn wants to challenge you. So after you had this, this obstacle that you've obviously got through, right, whatever it was, or a different challenge, right, here comes a new one. And that's in the sixth house. And it's saying, now I want to challenge you in this area over here. And it is going to feel like a challenge because you want to know. I want to see, what does it say? The part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. What's this card? In the what? Sixth house? The challenge. So from one challenge to another challenge, it just feels like, okay, I went through this challenge. Right? It's illuminated itself. It's cleared itself. I understand and can clearly see exactly what that one was straight on to the new one. Now you're saying, oh my God, and I went straight into a new challenge. Finish one up to go straight to a new one. Okay. Hey, challenge of the Leo though. Because <clears throat> all that's going to do is raise your curiosity to say, well, let's do it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
can't stop the cat from jumping. Right? Okay, so here we go. Show me the light. Oh, I felt like I was like a wheel of fortune. Banna, tell me what's behind that. Okay. I have game game show over here. Yes, because that after that light, there was a piece though that was really over overwhelming to this one. So you're definitely feeling in the beginning of the month, you're like, I finally got it. I get this. I see the light. I've got this. I'm in my own power. I'm ready to shine. Your self-expression is all over the place. You are shining. And this is because you said, I just got over <laughs> this overwhelming situation. Here's your challenge. Oh my God. And it's another what? Challenge card. Seven of wands is a what, guys? Challenge card. Everybody knows that. Right side up, it's what? Challenge. Upside down, it says it was overwhelming and I got through it. I did it. I did it. I'm in the limelight. Woohoo, look at me. I'm successful. I finally got my fulfillment of wishes. I got done what I wanted to get done. Whatever work that was, whatever it was. Everybody's story is a little bit different, but you did it. You know, pop that champagne, whatever it is, right? I got it. Right, but now you're feeling like, okay, because I got the fulfillment of wishes. It's like, now it's downtime. Now it's downtime, right? Just like relax, time to relax. I'm not in my head anymore. Everything's fine. I did this. I'm free. I found it. I got it. And now here comes what? New obstacle and challenge. And it's racing at you what? Super fast. So you can say like from the first to about the seventh or the eighth, all of a sudden, boom, here comes this new. It could even be the ninth. Or the 10th, right? Because we have 7th, 8th, 10th. Somewhere around the 10th, beginning of the month. You can say, okay, but now I'm going to race towards this new one because I have this ambition. Here's a new challenge for me. I'm driven to succeed. I want this. I have fast thinking. I'm relaxed. I've got through all these other things. I'm shiny, shiny, shiny. And I'm ready to rock. And now you are driven with impulsion. And it's crazy because the Knight of Swords is also kind of impulsive in its own way, if you kind of think about it, because it's so ambitious, right, that it's ready to just rock and roll. So you're definitely going to feel like, I'm ready to rock. I want to know what this is. I want to know who this person is. I want to know what this is. And I'm ready for this challenge. And you do feel like it's kind of a challenge, whatever that challenge may be. Everybody's challenge is going to be a little bit different. Okay? Might even be that I want to go back to the gym. Could be, you know, whatever it is. Be in within a relationship, meeting someone, who knows? Okay. You will know when it happens. And for some of you, it might have already come into play, and, you know, because time is fluid. So at the mid-month over here, you have the solar plexus chakra. Your intentions are high, high, high intentions. With the universe, oh my gosh. Okay. You have this beautiful new beginning going over here, the world card coming out saying, here's your new world. You have the intentions for this beautiful completion so that you can walk into this new area of your life. You may feel like you have to sacrifice something and move on from something to get to this place. Wow, these two cards coming out together. It's very rare. That spirit wants to be very, um, I don't know, he really wants to be very particular about this situation. It's almost like you don't understand. You have to self-sacrifice by moving on from a situation. It will be a sacrifice. But it's a sacrifice that you feel with the hangman that, that will bring in the rainbow. Something that you feel has to be done. Something that one time that maybe you felt like, I didn't want to do this, but now I feel like this must be done. And it would be a sacrifice. But it's so worth it because you have the universe. And it's with your intentions. Your intentions go with your intentions desires, your intentions rule with the solar plexus of your dreams, manifestations, things that you want. So whatever this is, it's like it's all kind of aligning for you and you're going to feel like you're very aligned for this purpose. And it is kind of aligned if you look at it. Actually, if you look at this, guys, in seriousness, in, in a new horology reading um, area, we have six. Six builds to 12. Six breaks down to three. And 12 backwards is 21. So, yeah. right. So if you look at it numerologically, it's already, this is a very divine area right here. It's very divine.
So, oops, actually, these are actually backwards. I actually want them that way on purpose. You know, I usually don't care about it in this area right here because of the way it came out together. I really want them together this way. because it says you definitely have to sacrifice something and it makes you have to move on. So it has to be that way. <clears throat> okay, so the solar plexus chakra over here, whether it could be a thought, it could be the way you're doing something, it could be a literal thinking, it could be a habit, it could be, you see, see what I'm saying? We'll see what the what spirit says. Um, difficult decisions have to be made. You know that these are different difficult decisions. But it's something that you don't want to avoid, but you do know that you're a little blindsided from the situation. It could be also feeling a little detached, but you know that this has to have, there's going to be some kind of union to have some kind of togetherness. It could be with a Libra or heavy Libra in the chart. Universe says that you have to do this because if you're fearing the change and holding on, there it is. There's the sacrifice and moving on because it says within the death card over here, if you have the resistance to change and fearing any of the change, then you're going to end up with just stagnation. You won't have this personal tr transformation that will get you to the universe. So the universe says, I want you to take this completion. So you're going to feel like you're going to be pushed. Yeah, that's it. You're being pushed. You feel like you're being pushed, even though you feel like you should be holding on to this situation. But you're being pushed out of this situation into a new situation, which is making you move on. Ooh, I like that, though, because that means it's stirring up. Ooh. It's going to stir up your emotions for sure. Um, it's saying that if you're resisting, well, you're being pushed. You're going to be confronted with these types of patterns and habits and, and relationship things or whatever it's pushing you away from. And some, you know, you're going to get a tower, almost guarantee. Yeah, because here's your hangman in reverse, and here's your hangman right side up, saying because you're not sacrificing what you need to sacrifice, you're going to try to feel like you want to hold on, but you know deep down inside you're going to have this knowing. And this is where the knowing is coming from, is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is saying, I know I should self-sacrifice and move on towards this situation, but I don't want to because I know it's a self-sacrifice and I don't know if I want to do that. But yet I know I need to do that if I want this intention. So you understand what's going on. It's just how are you going to, you know, how are you going to face the day pretty much? So you're kind of stalling in indecision. You fear the sacrifice, but yet you know the sacrifice has to be made. This is what I really want. If you know you really want it, you know you need to move on from it, whatever it is. For some of you, it's a relationship. It's a job. It could be a maybe a hobby I can't even afford anymore. Like I, I go to the gym all the time, but I can't afford it anymore. And I know I really should give this up. I know I should give this relationship up because I know it's not doing anything for, you know, for me. And maybe I found a new one. Whatever it is, but you will find the wisdom that you need. The wisdom within the situation. That's where the Two of Swords is going to be very important in this scenario. Because you already have the ambition and the, you know, and the action to want to know what is going on and what I should do. Right? And a lot of fast thinking. But then it's almost like in mid-month, you get stuck at a crossroads. Oh, shit. Okay, so the moving on is focus, very focused, understanding what it is you need to do. You know what you need to do. You have the passion. You have the understanding. You're very focused on what it is you truly want, you truly need. It's just getting it done. How am I going to do this? How am I going to go about this? You really need to get yourself centered, right? You need to get yourself out of mental conflict so that you can figure it out. You already know the answer. Spirit already says the answer. 21. You, the, the world. Stop messing around and move. Make this a completion. Because I'm pushing you. They're pushing you that way anyways. Right? They're already pushing you that way. They're making you confront things that you may have put off before that you didn't want to confront because it's uncomfortable. Right? Or you're bringing in something so new that it's bringing up what's uncomfortable so that you can see what you can have that's so brand new and amazing. But still, that puts you to crossroads, right? 
So it's going to make you get kind of, it's going to stir your feelings and don't allow yourself confusion though. Because that two of swords can go upside down so fast between confusion. So make sure that you are kind of working it out within yourself, the pros and cons of the situation. Once you get confused, oh my gosh, there goes everything, right? Because now I don't know where I'm going to move. Resistance is one thing, and having a little indecision is another one. Being, you know, but having confusion, that just throws everything off. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here. Clarifying on the situation. Accelerated motion, eight. Heart chakra open. Conflict and defeat. Can you show me? Rejoice and celebration. I just want to go to the next cards, please. Yeah. I want to see what's at the bottom of the deck over here. Waiting game. Prosperity begins. Firm foundations. Base chakra. Okay. So next after the conflict and the defeat is definitely rejoice and celebration as the love begins. So you definitely will find your ace of cups as soon as you get after the conflict and defeat. Because these are kind of like the overall, this is like the overall message of the whole thing. Like what's going to happen at the end of the month? How is this going to work out? How is it going to work out? Rejoice and celebration and love begins. It's all going to work out beautiful. I'm actually going to put them right here because this is actually your over, the outcome to the situation is your, is your ace of cups. And the Three of Cups. So over here it says accelerated motion to the situation, which means there's going to be a lot of texting, a lot of fast thinking, a lot of reaching ladders, a lot of, uh, you know, going up the ladder, doing things, right? Fast um, thinking, fast action with the Ace of Swords, mental clarity, breakthroughs. So you're definitely going to have accelerated motion when it comes to mental clarity. You're going to understand this. Please clarify on the heart chakra. Your heart chakra is open, saying that there is love and compassion going on within the situation and that you do definitely have the love and compassion for the situation of the magician and the queen of cups. That's new love. For a lot of you, this is a new love situation and you're trying to get out of a love situation to get into a new love situation or trying to make time for a new love, something of this nature. Take it how it, it resonates or it could be even the love of a new job. Um, you will know what it is. I just will because that's what intuition does. You'll say, oh my God, I know what it is. Um, so you will intuitively know that this is exactly what you've been manifesting. This is exactly where all your, you want to take action on. As soon as that mental clarity comes through, you're going to know exactly where to move and what to do. Um, you're kind of looking deep, deeper within that cup and your conflict and the defeat is going to bring in this ultimate strength over here where you're going to say, you know what? I'm now strong enough to understand and focused enough to understand where it is. I have a subtle power within yourself. You're going to find this influence and persuasion within yourself reach these higher limits. Yes, you know what, guys? And you know what I love about this whole thing? I'm not going to say that all of you are not going to get confusion. I really have to bring that up, though, because please try not to do that. Try to keep away from that because that can just destroy everything. Um, the majority of you, the reason I love this is it's not really showing any confusion. I would assume if there was confusion, it would have popped up right away, but you don't. You have indecision and Ace of Swords, which is mental clarity. So straight from feeling like I'm at a crossroads about a situation, straight to I understand the situation. So I love that. <clears throat> okay, so because this is going to be the point of wisdom and understanding, this is where you're going to feel like, you know what, I got this. I've totally got this. I understand the purpose and I'm going to move towards what it is I truly want and feel strong about the situation. I'm going to offer my cups to the situation. I think for a lot of you, this is some kind of new love. You want to know who this person is. You're learning about them. You want to know, carry on, wayward son. I don't know. All these things, you know what I mean? It's just like, you got this and you're very clear-minded. See, and that's, thank you, spirit. I love that. You can be at a crossroads all you want about a situation. But as soon as we get in confusion, we screw ourselves. Because then all of a sudden we'll just hermit, you know, kind of out, you guys, and we'll just kind of like take the back seat, right? Because everybody kind of does that. Because now I don't know where the hell I'm going, right? And the overall is what? There's that three of cups, like I said before, and a higher fin. Brand new relationship that just feels wonderful. Now, for some of you getting out of a relationship, you do know you have to leave the other person out in the cold. So it is showing that your impulsiveness. And your new excitement and new freedom could leave someone else out in the cold. You might know that you, you know what, whether it's this job, 
whether it's this, you know, whoever this person is, whatever the situation is, um, and you do feel like that's, you know, that's that. It's a loss. Um, but you're not going to worry about the situation. If you know that it was something to go to the gym and I have to do something else, I'll save money and do whatever, you're not going to allow yourself to worry about it too much. But it is going to have a little, it's going to feel, you're going to feel the loss to the situation or someone else is going to feel your loss. Okay? And what? You have the Ace of Cups underneath that. What did I just say, guys? Okay. Clarified. And why? Because you may be leaving someone behind who's going to be very disappointed about the situation. Or you might be, yeah, going through a lot of self-healing. So, okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.